when there's a fire, you got to do everything it takes to put it out. Fires are no good. It does matter with airplanes what you use to put out the fire. The standard ABC fire extinguisher has a powder that will corrode everything in your airplane. It'll ruin your electronics, it'll trash the plane, it's impossible to clean it out. If you have a fire in an airplane and there's nothing else, use whatever you have, but it's better to have the right thing. That way you don't ruin and total your aircraft just by having the wrong fire extinguisher. So I've got something that I ordered from webstaurant.com. Uh, kitchens use these all the time, and it's a Halon fire extinguisher. Sometimes you'll see it as Halon, sometimes you'll see it as Halide, sometimes you see it as Halotron. Halotron is the most common thing. I got my handy dandy box opener, which are my keys usually. I'm going to open this up and show you what it looks like. I haven't seen it. So let's open this up and see what our fancy Halon fire extinguisher looks like. I have a feeling it's about the same as every other fire extinguisher. It's going to be in a red bottle. It's going to have a little meter on the top that tells you that it's charged. Probably has some instructions. I think this one has a bracket that comes with it so I can mount it on the wall also. And sure enough, there it is. Now one thing I'll tell you is that uh, it's got a green nozzle. It's got a green top. So one way that you can usually tell a Halon fire extinguisher is the little green markers will tell you that. Uh, it's got instructions, but the instructions are pretty simple. It's rip the tab, pull out the pin, hold the fire extinguisher like so, and when you press the top, the agent comes out the nozzle, and the nozzle should be pointed at the base of the flame. So that's standard procedure. Now, most fires in airplanes will tend to be electrical. Electrical fires can typically be stopped by just turning off the power. So if you can turn off the power to the thing that's burning, that's your first step. Knowing the source of the fire is helpful, if it is electrical, turn the source off. And then once you've done your best to eliminate the source of the fire, then it can be extinguished. If you don't get rid of the source of the fire, then it's hard to put it out. Because, for example, if it's a fuel fire, if the fuel is still coming out, even if you use the fire extinguisher, if there's any heat, it'll just reignite. So get rid of the source of the fire, pick up your handy bottle, do your best, hope you have enough. Halon is handy for airplanes because it's a gas. And being a gas, it doesn't lay around to corrode things. It's not a powder that can get into every crevice and corrode the aircraft. Um, this is about a 15 pound extinguisher. It says on here somewhere how much it is. Maybe it's 11 pounds, I can't remember. The price was right. The fire extinguisher is awesome. And if I have a fire in my hangar, I'm gonna have something to put it out with out messing up my airplanes. Now it is important to know that this fire extinguisher is for B and C class fires. It's not good for a class A fire. A class A fire is a usual combustible, cardboard, wood, things that are paper based, you know. The typical fire that you run into is a class A fire. Uh, a fuel fire is a B, an electrical fire is a C. So this is really good for B's and C's. There's not a whole lot in an airplane to burn in the way of an A-class fire, so this is another reason this is a good aircraft-grade fire extinguisher. I do have an ABC fire extinguisher in the hangar, so if something wood or uh, you know standard combustible were to catch on fire, I'd have something to use on it. I wouldn't pick up the Halon extinguisher for something that's laying around inside the hangar or associated with you know wood or lumber or, or tables and desktops and things like that. So I'm saving this one for fires in and around the airplane where it's more likely to have a fuel fire or an electrical fire.